Here with us on Times Now and uh, viewers, uh, you're watching our continuous coverage as far as the Axiom 4 mission is concerned. Now, the moment that we all are waiting for is the moment when these four crew members, four astronauts, including India's group captain Shubhanshu Shukla, will be coming out of this Dragon spacecraft. Now, it docked successfully at the International Space Station after the spacecraft completed the 28-hour flight from Florida. Kennedy Space Center and what we are seeing right now is post-docking uh, procedure that's currently underway and uh, uh, right now these are the live visuals that we are getting for you. Joining us on the broadcast uh, this evening is my guest. Uh, we will try and understand from former ISRO scientist Jijit Nadumuri Ravi who is joining us live right now. We'll try and understand what is going to be the next big thing to watch out for. How soon can we really expect these four astronauts to come out of this particular spacecraft now that the docking procedure has been completed? Uh, uh, Mr. Ravi, good evening. Thank you for speaking with us here on Times Now. Could you explain to our viewers? Axiom Mission 4 perspective of their procedures that they are currently going through in anticipation of hatch opening. And so, shall I speak? Yes, please go ahead. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the currently the hatch opening procedure is happening. So you have to have a lot of uh, checks and balances before that happens. Uh, because uh, there is a different uh, air pressure, first of all, because uh, the Dragon Crew module as well as the ISS will have a slight air pressure and even the, uh, the atmospheric uh, uh, like configuration itself is can different because of the high carbon dioxide uh, which can be there in the the, the crew module the the, space, uh, the the crew dragon space module uh, whereas ISS it is more or less like a clean kind of air so they have to do all these procedures and uh, so it's not uh, like that you open a door and then get inside so those procedures are going on currently so there is a uh, pressurization uh, related steps that has to be do uh, that we have to be how to do and uh, then uh, you have a kind of a checklist uh, like a kind of a well documented checklist uh, for the hatch opening process mm -hmm. so that's what we are seeing currently okay uh, stay with us sir in fact let's listen into the live commentary that's coming dragon spacex copies on the big loop you are standing by for hatch opening we are waiting for hardline connections to be complete i'll call back with a go Okay, thanks. Very direct. And there you heard Axiom Mission 4 Commander Peggy Whitson radioing on down to the team at SpaceX. They are awaiting the go for hatch opening. I'd imagine the crew aboard the Dragon Gray spacecraft anxious and excited to float into the International Space Station for the very first time. And you just saw that orange ductwork or hose-like piece of equipment that Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers were just operating with. That's a part of helping uh, mix the air between the International Space Station and the uh, Dragon uh, spacecraft. I'll continue to check some vent valves as well, so it just might be a little bit more time before we welcome the crew on board. But these final checks, again, critical to making sure that everything is good and sealed tight with no leaks and no issues as Dragon Grace will be docked to the International Space Station for approximately the next two weeks. Just waiting for, uh, you know, this process to complete and then we will have four 
astronauts uh, coming out of this particular spacecraft. Let's also try and understand what happens next. Uh, Mr. Jijit Ravi, former ISRO scientist, continues to be with us at this point in time. And uh, we got to know earlier that there is going to be a formal reception for them by scientists who are already there. Uh, can you uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, what happens next after they come out of the spacecraft? Yes. Uh, so basically, the first uh, ritual is the kind of a grand welcome, uh, where the the existing astronauts will have a shake hand with all the uh, different uh, the, the incoming astronauts with the different nationalities. So that is going to happen. And typically, a uh, new kind of work won't start because uh, just like your normal uh, travel, there is a kind of uh, a very kind of maybe they are not showing a stress, but there is a little bit stressful travel that has been uh, done in the last uh, 28 hours. So they will have some rest uh, uh, period. And then there will be a safety orientation briefing. Uh, typically, like for example, anybody who is uh, newly coming in and uh, here the commander, he is actually having five five times uh, uh, traveling in the ISS, but uh, other three crew, including our uh, uh, Subham Shukla and the other uh, the astronauts from other nations, they are first time into the ISS, so definitely they need to be properly given a kind of briefing on the safety and orientation. Uh, because uh, even now, uh, Subham, who I have done the travel in the spacecraft, but he has not been in the ISS, which is having a little more bigger space where you can actually feel the this uh, zero gravity in a much, much better manner. So he has to do a kind of uh, first time experience of the interior of the ISS and uh, have his uh, no, hands and uh, the, the, the hands and legs familiarize with that motion it's like whatever now you can you can see the two astronauts uh, very gracefully navigating across the uh, this uh, space so for them it will be a little bit new compared to this experienced uh, astronaut so they have to do that and uh, uh, the safety briefing includes many other things, not just the, the moving around in the into the ISS, but also you know, what what should be like, uh, you know, which are the spaces you can go and which uh, other spaces you, you cannot go. Like there are modules inside the ISS, like with uh, different names. Hmm. So you have to uh, do that. And definitely uh, there is uh, something called the equipment and payload setup, uh, which is basically like uh, just before they they actually start the this. Uh, experiments so because there are around 60 experiments and a lot of them uh, in which uh, our subham Su also is participating so they have to do that workbench setup and payload setup that they need right. to do so these are the kind of activities you can expect uh, in a very quick, in a few hours but the first will be the welcome the grand welcome and it's a kind of something of very ceremonial in nature mm -hmm. and it will be like a kind of the moment we are watching Okay. Uh, stay with us, sir. In fact, let's uh, again uh, uh, get back to the commentary, the live commentary that we are getting uh, as far as the updates from the International Space Station are concerned. Hearing communications from teams on the ground as they continue to work through hatch opening procedures and making sure all pressurization and leak checks are good. And everything equal between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station before the hatches can be formally opened on both sides. You can see into this hatchway, the space facing port, or into the space facing side of the Harmony module aboard the International Space Station and the International Docking Adapter that welcomed the connection of Axiom Mission 4 at 5.31 a.m. Central Time earlier this morning. And since then, the Crews aboard both the Dragon Gray spacecraft and International Space Station have been diligently working and continue to monitor the progress of that hatch opening with teams on the ground also following suit. All right. Uh, 
We will continue to get you the latest as far as the Axiom 4 mission is concerned. In just a few moments from now, viewers, we will see the four astronauts, including India's very own group captain, Shubhanshu Shukla, coming out of this uh, spacecraft and will be uh, entering the International Space Station. The post-docking procedure is currently underway and we'll, of course, be getting you all the live updates, requesting my guests to please stay on with us. Uh, slipping into a very, very short right now. We'll be back with more on this. Don't go anywhere.